um, you came all the way here to uh, protest against the Dolphinarium in Duisburg. Why is it so important to you to shut down exactly this Dolphinarium? Well, this one is one of the worst in the world. We think it has about 60 uh, dead dolphins there. We don't know for sure. Jorgen is trying to, through a lawsuit, get the, the, the details. But they're all important. They're all important. This one is not any more or less important than the ones in Florida, where I come from. Uh, they're now opening up in uh, Europe, and in, in Zurich will be in Zurich in a few days. Uh, there used to be nine dolphinariums when I first started campaigning in Germany. Now there are just two. So that's huge progress, I think. And I think someday soon, Germany will be dolphin friendly. There will be no dolphinariums. As soon as the consumers stop buying tickets. And there's great hope that that, that will happen here in Germany, Holland, Switzerland, where people are better educated than they are in America, in Central America and South America. My experience is when people get the information in Germany, they do something. They just don't have the information. What was your impression of what happened in Duisburg last time? It's very much like this room. It's just a, it's just a, a square box. You know, it's, uh, it, uh, it's not suitable for marine mammals. It's a death sentence, eventually. <clears throat> I think it's cruel and unusual. If you go to the to the zoo, the Duisburg Zoo, there is a zoo here, right? Yeah. Nearby? Yeah. And take a look at the reptile exhibit, the snake exhibit. A snake is a cold-blooded animal with a very small brain, but it is given more consideration than the dolphins at the Duisburg Zoo. If you look at the habitat of the snake, you will see it has some grass, and it has some tree limbs to climb on, and it has some rocks to hide from the public if it wants to. But if you look at the, if you walk over to the Duisburg Zoo and put on a face mask and put your head underwater, you'll notice there's nothing here. It's just an empty concrete box. You wouldn't do that to a snake. Habitat dictates behavior. That's a given in science. So how could you expect the dolphins to have a, to be mentally healthy? That's something nobody ever thinks about is their mental health. We look at their physical body and they're smiling and <coughs> music is playing and the water is very blue and we go, what's the problem? Well, you only have to look at the snake exhibit to see the problem. So what's What's the worst part of the dolphin? The worst part is being there, just simply being there in a concrete box. Dolphins are free ranging, self aware, like humans. Humans are self aware. We look in the mirror and we know what we're looking at. And the great apes are also self aware. And they're also sound oriented, their primary sense, unlike the snake is sound. They live in a world of sound. And at the Duisburg Zoo, or any concrete box, they are involved in sensory deprivation. Is that stressful? Of course it's stressful. It shouldn't be rocket science to figure out why they have 60 dead dolphins. These are disposable dolphins for our disposable society for casual amusement. <laughs> 